once you can! Stop being a bitch! Come back! Come back! I'll f you up right now! What's good? What's good? Chill, bro! Cause you're a bitch! You're a fucking bitch! You're sitting in this chest like, well, yeah, just network with manners. I'm never gonna make it. Oh, now everyone's gonna become manners. You're a pussy! I'm like a fucking saiyan! You hit me, I live through the battle, and I get stronger after the fact. So let's do it! You got the advantage! You've been training too, man! So let's f do it! Put the gloves on and let's fight. If I ever run into this motherfucker, he's gonna beat the shit out of me. That's what I want because you have the fierce tenacity that no one can. Do you consider yourself an emotional male? Not really. I would say I, I do a good job of, you know, controlling them. What's good, y'all? Now, apparently, we have a podcast beat. So recently, DJ Academics was on the Flagrant 2 podcast, and somewhere along the conversation, Fresh and Fit came up. Now, when it's brought up, Andrew Schultz and his co-host starts to basically clown Fresh and Fit, essentially laughing at them for being demonetized. So, no, but tell us, so what's going on? Like, are they still, but they're still doing a pod. They're still doing a pod, man. That's you know, fire, they, they got some different monetization <laughs> strategies. You know, what else are they working on? What's their different monetization strategies? Yo, what's up with y'all, man? Yo, <laughs> what's, they, what's their different monetization strategies? Strategies. Nah, hold on, man. I don't like how y'all. I feel like y'all been. You them brought them up. up. I ain't bring them up. Yeah, you I brought them up. Yo. And you still watch it? Do they have their own yeah. website or how Bro, do you watch it? It's on YouTube pod? still. What do you think is that? <laughs> I thought the podcast got taken off YouTube. No, it got demonetized. That's the new. What way. does that mean? So I YouTube mean, said they can't make money. Just go you watch Fresh and. How do they watch it? On YouTube. Go to YouTube.com, type in Fresh Why and Fit, this my guys and right scroll now? to the bottom of the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> now, before I continue, I've seen a lot of content creators saying that the flagrant cast was wrong for laughing at the demonetization of Fresh and Fit, and I completely disagree. You have to remember, these guys are the same guys sending false DMCA strikes to content creators just because they didn't like what they said. Jamari, Playback, and Aubrey and Preach all exposed Fresh and Fit for sending out multiple fake DMCA strikes, essentially attempting to destroy their careers based off of something that they said. They've gone after over 30 channels apparently, including Spencer Cornelius, Playback, and Abba and Preach. Understand that all of these channels use of their content fell under fair use. The thing we all had in common was that we all made critical videos. I don't support censorship, but what I am saying is it wasn't a big deal when these guys was filing false DMCA strikes over criticism so why should we care when they end their own career over unironically wearing a clan hood and calling other creators slurs so anyways this isn't actually a new thing this beef actually stems from a while back when fresh and fit was on the flagrant podcast and i will say the conversation was weird as f seemed like the flagrant guys already didn't like fresh and fit based off of their takes and this was around a time when fresh and fit made their notorious take about not dating shaniquas Oh, I'm sorry, Shaquisha's. Hence why I was a big part of the conversation. What about the black dating app called Black? <laughs> oh, I, I, it's funny, I never used that one, bro, but oh, hey, man. man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. Laquisha. I, yeah, like I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't night Riders. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're, you know, red bone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. Fresh and Fit refused to concede on any point, even though they agreed that what they said in the joke wasn't actually what they believe or their dating preferences. But at the end of the day, it was a joke, apparently. To be fair to the Fresh and Fit cast, the flagrant guys were so focused on pressing them that it wasn't really a productive conversation. It was a bit of emotion on their side. At least that's what it felt like. And it wasn't really much forward moving dialogue. But I have empathy for trying to be funny and then it comes out fucked up and then everybody's on your neck what i don't like what i find corny is is my preference is not my women you guys have established yourselves as role models from simps to pimps which is another model i find kind of corny but i <laughs> i looked into what you guys are about and a lot of this is just childish also so, the yeah. way they said they didn't like it like that's that's what i was like bothered by the clip it's like you guys go out of your way to say what you don't like even though that's not what you're discussing. It's like your preference is what you do like, but then the way in which you went about how you don't like black women, oh, I don't like the ratchet, I don't like the ghetto, I don't like the Shaniqua, it's like, that's like, if you were a white person saying all that, that's racist shit. Now the podcast naturally ended on a bad note. With it just being pretty much a hour or so of the flagrant cast trying to press fresh and fit and them not conceding to any point. Now this situation is important because it not only shows the history of the beef, but it also shows that the flagrant guys wasn't exactly hiding the fact that they didn't really subscribe to fresh and fits talking points and what they do on the internet. Anyways, now that you know the origin of the beef, fast forward to current day and Myron is pissed. Look at how alpha these these tweets are so myron starts off by saying andrew schultz and akash singh are some of the biggest snakes on youtube 
them and their whole team at Flake. This is where Andrew Schultz responds. Myron, you are a sensitive, talentless, bottom feeding grifter. Your life's work is renting women and regurgitating talking points. Your arms are not developed enough for the t-shirts that you wear. And your co-host is pimping you. Merry Christmas. This is when Myron completely loses his shit. Now, Myron responds back with this super long freedom writer type tweet. And in my opinion, when you start responding in paragraphs, you kind of already lost. Grifter, I've saved thousands of men. <laughs> and it's just, it just didn't really hit. I mean, you're getting in an argument with a comedian. Now, Andrew Schultz did not respond to that shit. Because he didn't respond, Fresh and Fit went on a live stream and pulled a very classic fresh and fit move they challenge andrew Schultz to a boxing match probably weighs over 200 pounds so let's do it you got the advantage you've been training too man so let's f do it. put the gloves on and let's fight let's see what you can say all the jokes you're gonna make on our demonetization when your face is swollen you mother especially you two comedians you guys want to make jokes and everything else like that but then when it comes to all right let's fight you guys want to ba back out especially i'll get in the boxing ring let's do it schultz let's do it you want to call me talentless all right i'm gonna show you my talent break in your Jaw. As always, these guys are getting butt hurt over some jokes made at their expense. Ironically, the man who preaches about masculinity and stoicism and how women are more emotional and men are more illogical is the one that completely loses his shit whenever he receives any type of criticism. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Peace. I think that if I had to compare you and and him, I would say that you are extremely emotional. What by by the experience that my I my first experience yeah, with you, so you you come off very flustered and and um, angry.